Hello everyone, welcome to Quant Lab. Apologies for not putting a video and kind of being consistent in the year. I'm trying to pump up the quality so that you get more detailed content and hence the research is taking time. But today's video is going to be about a very important topic. A common question I see across Reddit, across WhatsApp community, across you know posts. What is the right infrastructure setup for a algo trading setup? Like algos ke liye kya kare? and then kafi different different tarike se log approach karte hain so what i've tried to do in this video is talk about the infrastructure setup for a robust trading system in indian markets it's not necessarily for indian markets but i wanted to ground it into a you know like like one country the hardware part of it applies almost everywhere depending on certain networking needs because i understand the networking needs within india but the rest of the components should be good enough so I've tried to bridge this into different sections and the idea is we want to give you a low latency, high speed trading setup. It should support some sort of a machine learning scenario if you want to use it in the future, running algos, performing analysis, all of that. So there's a lot of details to discuss and let's dive in. So you know, the first thing is the workstation itself, which is a high performance computer setup. There's a lot of debate and discussion so what I've tried to do is break this into two pieces. One is retail and algo ke liye what is relevant. And if you want to go more higher like ML, HFT, certain recommendations there, I wouldn't still suggest all the way towards HFT because more needs pop up in network and all that. So, so simple starting with processor, any i7, i9, first talking about retail. And if you want to go further, ML, multi-threading, multi-core infrastructure chahiye hota hai. Minimum 16 GB of RAM is always recommended even for a general user these days. 32 is a good starting point. If you want to go into ML and go for 64 GB because the more memory you have, the more is your ability to kind of process things in parallel, load data in memory. So your, you know, assessment analysis time reduces. Storage is basically hard disk. Kitna disk chahiye? Go for an SSD which is standard. One terabyte is very good. If you want to keep a lot of data, like depending on the amount of data you want to keep, this has to increase. In a ML setup, you can actually go for hybrid that you go for SSD plus hard disk that to manage the cost because SSD could be higher. But if you can afford it, just go all the way to SSDs. Graphics card, if you have a multi-monitor setup, it's always good to have a graphics card like 2080, 2060 or 3060 to begin with, NVIDIA RTX. And if you want to go all the way for ML and all, go for RTX 4090 or A100 for more ML model series. I would suggest for ML needs, use a cloud provider. It's very easy to get infrastructure in cloud and instead of investing lakhs of rupees in GPUs, it's better to use it in cloud and if you become accustomed to it, then buy it. Monitors, it's completely dependent on you. Always suggest good resolution monitors. It's a screen that I have to see and cooling system is also very important. A lot of people don't talk about this point, but it's great to have a high airflow cabinet plus liquid cooling to keep the thermals in control. So retail traders can go anywhere between i7, i9, anywhere low end would be 80,000 kind of starting point. High end ka koi limit nahi hai. Next point is multi-monitor setup. Do monitor kafi hota if you want to run algos more like go for a quad setup or six setup if you are a very professional and institutional setup. Monitors may be low latency refresh rates are important like for example if you read this point what happens is how fast your monitor is reacts just a scroll speed uh, zoom speed usme latency kam dikhti hai and it's more smoother on the eyes if you have some sort of a curved setup like like I have really like two I don't know how to put it both hands are not here. So this is my one monitor and then I have another monitor this side. I have two and then a laptop. LG Ultra Gear is very good. Networking is something which people miss and most people underestimate this. Like primary internet and backup internet is necessary. If you can, go for a load balance setup. Like I run a load balance setup. So what I have is ACT, Airtel, go into a load balancer and uske a router hai, which is what I consume. So even if one of them is down, my laptop's internet is never down. You can build further redundancies, but this is good enough for me. So it's not like I have to disconnect Wi-Fi. It's always load balanced automatically. You can go for further advanced setup like lease lines, but this is costlier. And you know, sometimes when people have their home setup, right? 
I don't know, it's probably not visible, but somewhere there in my house, I have a cat eight cable running for bringing LAN to my desk work desk. Normally when people put LAN cables, they forget to look at the cat rating of the cable, like cat six, cat seven, cat eight. And you should, depending on the length or the breadth of the room, how big distance you have network set up. Networking is a very important configuration in a trading setup because, you know, your data needs to come at a high speed. You should be able to place trades at a high speed. And it's not only a function of the APIs that you're consuming. And if you want to go specific routes like VPN or private, VPNs usually damp the speed. So it's even important to have something like higher. If you want to set up more further height, then prop trading firms can be there, which are like Mumbai based data centers, which is co-location facility, which is like yeah, NSC building. So one kilometer or half a kilometer ke range mein kafi co-located servers mil jate So that's the network part. Data storage and backup. Again, the idea is this is getting into more specifics key. If you're a retail trader, you're good with first NVMe SSD, which is hard disk regular category. But if you have want backup or redundancies, you go for standard hard disks or go for RAID setups, which is like, you know, your data is automatically duplicated across a kind of a, you know, let's say mini NAS or something like that. Yeah, fair, you back it up onto cloud storage, like a Google Drive, OneDrive or S3 bucket. If you have, like, if you're running a company, if you're running even a small prop trading firm or an algo trading firm, it's very important that you go higher rate, like rate 10 and also that your storage is completely protected from disasters. Even if there's a hard disk failure, you are able to serve requests to your users. Hardware for ML based training. This is more deeper into ML workstation, like depending on the kind of ML needs you have. If you want to go cloud, which is what I recommend, go for EC2, P3 or P4 instance, GPUs, anything like that. On-prem really don't recommend a workstation setup you're good with something like an nvidia 4090 basically go for a gaming laptop the only challenge is laptops for ml are kind of difficult because if you want to go all beefed up it becomes very heavy and you lose portability or it starts to get very hot certain laptops the newer models i'm seeing there's liquid cooling available but it's better to go for a desktop if you want to have a you know, trading setup, which is liquid cooled and all like with the configuration and a laptop that you can, you know, let's say remote into it to execute workloads and all that. Maybe it will be a little bit slightly costlier, but what it gives you is you can carry your laptop everywhere, leave the desktop running 24 bar seven. If you can, are fine with the internet and electricity bill, electricity bill actually, and you can remote into it like a tunnel or something and you'll be able to access it. Then comes power backup. This is also important, also a neglected point, having good UPS, having strong UPS, because what happens is once you start to get into GPUs and high core machines, right, they are very power hungry. So a normal GPU, which gives, sorry, a normal UPS, which gives you like a 30 minute backup on a regular laptop might not give you the same backup, might go down to like five, six. So I run like two, UPSs because monitors churn a power and if you're running some workloads which are heavy the power consumption is usually high so learn to calculate the power consumption and then buy a UPS accordingly if you want to go for inverters usually a 2 kVA is a very minimal starting point with double large batteries so again I'm getting into too much into hardware just to make sure we address this Security and compliance might not be important for retail traders because you know you need to have physical firewalls like devices that can help you take care of the security and compliance needs. Cooling and noise controls is very important because wherever you have a lot of number crunching going, right, heat is generated. And if the heat increases beyond a certain limit, CPUs will start to throttle. Matlab ki, so it's important to have liquid cooling or decent cooling within that space. And you can have a little bit of acoustic cooling, sorry, acoustic dampling like foams, panels that can help you reduce the sound in the room. So a set of final recommendations, a good powerful desktop with at least a GPPS fiber connection. Go for a, you know, i7 32 GB configuration with a medium GPU. You are all set. You don't need anything else you can operate at probably minute level data or even second level data with that. 
just for experimentation. If you want to run a system production level, take a server in cloud, which is you know, running eight hours and it's switched off for the rest of the day. If you want to get into algo trading more than the hardware needs of your CPU or your GPU, your RAM, your networking and your storage needs to support that. Like SSDs, normal disks might not support low latency setups. And if you want to go all the way to ML, which I suggest you use cloud. And if you still want to buy, go for some sort of a gaming laptop, right? You know, anything which is decent, which has a good cooling is, would be very, very useful. I mostly use Mac, but my recommendation would be Windows because of software compatibility and all of that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have a specific question in this space, put them in the comment and happy to answer. Thank you for listening to me. Bye-bye.